Title of my video is a novel technique is endodissection of the choroidal melanoma for toxic tumor syndrome. My patient is a young male who is a diagnosed case of right eye choroidal melanoma elsewhere and status post plaque brachytherapy and anti vegf presented to us with a decrease in vision and right eye. The fundus showed a cholesterol appearance of the tumor in the infrotemporal quadrant with surrounding SRF. The patient developed a radiation retinopathy with CME, following which a multiple anti-VEGF and steroids were given for the same. This picture shows us the worsening of the edema from the initial presentation, even with the intravitreal steroids. And the diagnosis of a toxic tumor syndrome was made. The patient was posted for end of resection of choroidal melanoma under hypotensive anesthesia. Three standard 23 gauge port was made and the chandelier was placed. Anterior and core vitrectomy was done. The vitreous surrounding the tumor was cut. Intercautery was done all around the tumor over the anterior edge and the retinal flap was lifted using the cutter. Endo resection of the tumor was made using the 23 gauge cutter. And later it was switched to 20 gauge cutter and the endo resection was made at a lower cut rate. The retinal flap was extended to expose more of the tumor and the endo resection was continued. PFCL was injected to roll the retinal flap over the macula and the remnant coronal mask was removed. Now the retinal flap was folded back and the BBG was injected and the ILM peeling was done. The edge of the retinal flap is treated with the green laser. and the pigments over the blood sclera was also treated with the laser. And the remnant tumor is also treated with the red laser. Following the endo laser, silicone oil was injected and the PFCL silicone oil exchange was done. Post-operatively, retina was well attached and the oil was retained. 